So they forced a language on you that you didn't speak, which was what? Spanish. Remember the blacks? We got conquered by who? The English. That's why we speak English. Y'all got conquered by the Spanish. They forced Spanish upon you and forced a certain religion upon you. Okay, same thing. Same thing. Went through the same things. That's how we brothers. That's how you know we the same people. The religion they forced on you was Catholicism. Being Catholic. I'm going to show you this real quick and then I'm going to read that scripture. Look that. You see that? That's King out the Rapper. Get burned at the stake. That is a Jesuit priest holding a cross over his head. A cross. Saying what? Follow Catholicism or die. That's how you became Catholic. That is how the Latinos today became Catholic. The Puerto Ricans are the Israelites. That's and we're right. going to show you that, brother. So real quick. Stay where you at. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 18. Uh -huh. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of the and the fruit of thy land. So my brother, my brother, what is your name? Ray. Ray? Okay, Ray. Are you familiar with your history? Which my Puerto Rican history? Yes. Yeah. Question. Were your people already over here? Here in the United States? On this land mass. I don't know. All praise for honesty. The answer is yes. Your people were already over here. They were uh, before called Taino Indians. That was the original name. But your biblical name, your true name is Ephraim. Look at that sign over there. You are from the tribe of Ephraim. You ever heard of Joshua in the Bible? Joshua was from the tribe of Ephraim. That's your ancestor. But let's get some proof out of the Bible. Read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 18. Uh -huh. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. So, Ray, God said your children were going to be cursed and your land was going to be cursed. Because remember the statement that I made. The Puerto Ricans were already over here. This sign right here, take a look, right? I want you to look at this. This sign right here depicts your history. You were already over here on what is known as the United States. Your people ruled the landmass known as Puerto Rico. You understand that? You were over here ruling. But what happened? You gotta ask yourself, what happened? Read that one more time, then jump up to 15, then go to 49. And we're going to show Ray what happened. Read. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, uh -huh. the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Now remember, we read it before. God said your children was going to be cursed and your land was going to be cursed because you did not listen to God. Read verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, all the that through. all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. I'm going to make it plain for you, Ray. God said if you don't do everything I say, bad things is going to happen to you. So what happened while y'all was over here ruling? Deuteronomy 28 and verse 49. Somebody give me destruction to the enemies. Deuteronomy. The destruction of the enemies. Chapter 28, Read. verse 49. Listen up, Ray. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyer. So stop. Let's read that again. That's Moses. Moses is speaking to the Israelites. Deuteronomy 1. God told Moses to tell us these things. So Moses is repeating the message to us. You got me? Follow me? Here's the proof. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Perez. You hear that? These are the words that Moses spake to Israel. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 49. I'm going to show you something as well. The holiday that they call Columbus Day. 
They say that's the day that Columbus discovered America. He didn't discover America. Take a look at this sign right here. This is what Columbus did when he came over here. He raped, robbed, and murdered your people. And they made it a holiday. Is that not disrespectful? Look at that. Setting your people on fire. Burning them at the stake. Killing the children. This is what Columbus did. And I'm going to show you some real historical proof. Bring it out. Read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So, what part of the earth did Christopher Columbus come from? Christopher Columbus came from Spain. Spain is in Europe. Remember, you were already over here. So Christopher Columbus went to King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella and got permission to come over here. He got soldiers and money funded to him to come over here because he knew what? The Jews were here. The Israelites, the children of God were here. We're going to read about what he did in the Bible and then we're going to get a history book. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight. As swift as the eagle flyer. This is showing you who came over and did this to your people. Can I get the sign with the eagle? I need the sign with the eagle real quick. The sign that shows the different coins of the eagle over here also. I want to show you this because the so-called white man has, you familiar with sports teams, right? You know a sports team, they have a logo. Some sports teams wear a lion, they have something to symbolize them. So right here, look at this sign, right? On this sign, look at the coins. These coins is the money, the revenue of the so-called white man. What animal, what creature do you notice is always on their money? What do you see? An eagle. Read that one more time. The Lord shall send, bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. So they and came from Europe. And what was the symbol that they had on they, the flags on their ships? As swift as the eagle flyer. They still got the eagle on their money today. If you flip a dollar over on the back way, it has an eagle on it. The white man is not your friend. He is your oppressor. One of your oppressors. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. That's why you speak Spanish, right? That's why the blacks speak English. Because that's what our slave masters spoke. So they forced you to speak Spanish. When they came over and did this, they forced you to speak Spanish. Along with Spanish came religion. What religion do you think they forced upon you? Deuteronomy 28, 64. What religion do you think they forced on you? So they forced a language on you that you didn't speak, which was what? Spanish. Remember the blacks, we got conquered by who? The English, that's why we speak English. Y'all got conquered by the Spanish. They forced Spanish upon you and forced a certain religion upon you. Okay, same thing, same thing. Went through the same things, that's how we brothers. That's how you know we the same people. The religion they forced on you was Catholicism, being Catholic. I'm gonna show you this real quick and then I'm gonna read that scripture. Look down, you see that? That's King Althawaka get burned at the stake. That is a Jesuit priest holding a cross over his head. A cross. Saying what? Follow Catholicism or die. That's how you became Catholic. That is how the Latinos today became Catholic. When I say you, I mean in general. Majority of Latinos are Catholic and they don't know why. Majority of blacks are Baptists and don't know why that got forced on us in slavery. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Read it again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So God scattered us among all people. Our people got scattered all over the world. Why? Because we didn't listen to God. Read. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there you will 
people serve other gods. We looking at it right here on the historical image. The brother was forced to serve another god. The Puerto Ricans, before they got put into captivity, they served the god in this Bible. You spoke Hebrew. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. The wood is the cross. Stone is Islam. This is our history, yes. So, I want to know, history is history. I can't do no history. Whatever I've done is on the switch. So, I want to know what's your teaching, what's your belief? What's our belief? Let's get Acts chapter 3, verse 19. This is our belief right here. This is what we teach. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So, read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So, we are teaching repentance. I'm going to show what we believe in a minute. This is what we teach, repentance. Repentance means what? Change your ways. Give, ask the Lord for forgiveness of your sins. You repent and follow what God say. That's what we teach. Follow all the rules of God. Plain and simple. Read on. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That's what you must do, right? That's what all of our people out here must do. They must change their ways. And be what? And be converted. And be converted to what? That your sins may be blotted out. Get converted real quick. Because we got to figure out what is it that we have to convert to. Many of us think it's Islam. Because believe it or not, I don't know if you know, it's a heavy influx of Latinos going into Islam. Heavy influx. Same thing that the blacks did. We saw that Christianity was wrong, the church, and then we ran and started following Islam, and Islam is no better. You're still not learning anything in that. Read. Psalms 19 verse 7. This is how you be converted, right? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the rules of God are perfect. Read. Converting the soul. That's what converts you. These rules in this book. When you start following the word of God, that's what's going to change you. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. You following the word of God, God's rules. That's what's going to make you wise, because you're going to learn to make better decisions in your life. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.